Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver and my mono fighting run. I have to admit, I'm kind of down at the moment. Um, Mr. Prickles, you know, is just not feeling very well. Um, part of that's just that he's getting really up there in years, you know, for a hedgehog, you know, he's four years and a couple months, so... Yeah, for a hedgehog, he's pretty old at this point. And he's just not feeling well at all. Um, He's got some goo on his eyes, um, looks like he's got some cataracts going, so he can't see very well anymore. And he's been wobbling um, the last couple days or so. Um, and he's been very passive as well. So um, We got him stuff to get a vet visit on Friday. Hopefully he'll last until then. We can see you know, if there's anything we can do about it. But I don't even know if he'll last until Friday. All the vets are basically, you know, booked up for today, and they're off tomorrow, because, you know, as a hedgehog, he counts as an exotic pet, so... There's not really that many people available that can look at him. So... Not much I can really do to help him right now, besides, you know, just cross my fingers and... Hope he can live until the vet gets to look at him and can figure out, you know, if he's got some respiratory problems that can be dealt with, or... You know, if it's... He's just, you know reach the end of his lifeline. <sighs> I mean, I'm hoping it's just, you know, something that can be dealt with, but we'll see. Like I said, if he makes it, but that's even more depressing to think about, you know, that he's not even gonna make it to the vet visit, because he'll croak before then. Ugh. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But he ain't looking very hot. I suppose that's the problem with having a somewhat exotic pet, you know, in an area where there aren't many um, people that actually look at them. Like, there's almost no one you can go visit in the area that can take a look at an exotic pet out here. So... You got issues, you kinda get screwed. Come on, let me get away, I don't want to deal with a tentacle. I mean, the only one that can really fight them is probably Hitmontop. And I'm probably gonna wish I would picked up Thunder Punch before I came out here. So we should definitely pick up um, the medicine before you worry about you know going after Chuck. And we might want to pick up Shuckle, because I'm not sure I want to give strength to any of my fighting types, to be honest. A bit weird, but... In my experience, you know, having um, strength on a Pokemon is not always the worst option, but... I sort of like the utility of Headbutt. And I don't really want to put strength on, um... Primate, because I need space for other moves. Guess we'll um, just deposit Swirlpool. After all, we did bring Kenya, so we can just fly back. We'll just put you in the box for now. And we should probably heal up, you know, before we take on the gym. Probably should have worn the Pikachu hat, because I usually wear that for the gym battles, but... Usually I make this its own episode, too, but... Since I bypassed all the trainers, I might as well move on to the gym and see if I can actually conquer it at my current level, or if I'm gonna have to push my way up to a higher level for this. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if I lost, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, can you just give me your other one? Which makes no sense, to be honest. <sighs> but that's what he does. He's like, I'll give you my prize Pokémon for a while. I guess he's counting on you to bring it back. I don't know why he assumes you would do that. Okay. Let's bust out strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna teach it to Mr. Shucky here. Yeah, he can um, get rid of um, all kinds of moves, like Constrict. Honestly, Shuckle's only got one real trick, you know, it's toxic and then enduring hits and stuff like that until it, you know, kills you with poison, that's it. It's got one approach to combat and nothing else. You have to admire, you know, it's determination. Because it's a very defensive Pokemon, but it doesn't have the bulk to make good use of it, and it really can't do much else either, so, yeah. It could be awesome. I guess in a dull battle you can try and use um 
stuff to switch around stats to screw over the opponent, but pulling that off can be real tricky. Well, great. Muscles is only going to get, like, one hit off here. Then he's going to die. Well, I guess we can hope he slams himself into the wall. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay, Bruce. Give him a taste of your, um, karate chop. Bruce is like, I'm pumped. Well, took advantage of the fact the opponent was weakened to be like, just BAM! Take that, Yoshi. You lied to me anyway, you're not a green dinosaur. At least that's what I think Yoshi is. Ugh. Try to have a little fun with their names, I suppose, to distract me from my sorrows. Though I don't know what you can really do with this guy's name. Well, now, let's see what we got. I think we'll give him the good old-fashioned karate chop. It's not like we can do anything else, really. Oh, we're going for burn, huh? Not a bad plan, I guess. Assuming he can stick it. No, it doesn't have enough time. Well, you're out. Shocking, huh? It seem all that shocking to me. Let my fist do the talking? Okay. Let your fist do the talking. Now we kung fu fight! <laughs> Nob? You Nobby? A relative of Dobby? Guess this guy's secretly a house elf. Well, let's see if Bruce can, you know, drop this with Chop. Nope, and it's gonna hit us back for big damage, I bet. Eh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Huh. I was honestly expecting more. Well. Helps out Bruce. Now he's reached level 29. And he's even more pumped to win. He's like, yeah. I gotta rage my way to victory. I already skipped over rage. Um, I could have taken it, but I was like, you know what? Bruce doesn't really survive a lot of hits, so rage just doesn't seem like a good fit. Oh, good, a critical hit right off the bat. Will he return the favor? Yep. But, I'm closer to victory, so I'm gonna win. Because I'm faster, you see. Okay. Let's, um, move these boulders out of the way. Sure, we're gonna have to retreat before we take on, you know, the gym leader, but... At least we can start ourselves up, right? Oh, they're gonna shatter my Pokemon, are they? I'd pay to see that. Lung, huh? Are you gonna lunge at me, or are you got black lung and you're dying? Ugh. Horrible reminder. Ugh. Probably should watch for that. Well, maybe that'll be enough to knock this thing out. Oh, good, a critical hit. Well, that's one Minky dealt with, but he's got another one. <laughs> Can we drop this one as easily? Let's see. Go for another nice karate chop. Didn't even need the critical hit. Yeah, go, Bruce! Prove your worth. You know, Mr. Miyagi took the last gym. Show us that you can take this gym, largely by yourself. Come on, critical hit. Ah, oh, we were denied. And now we're dead. Okay. Well, send out Apachai. Meditate. Oh shoot, this guy's faster than me. I wasn't expecting that. I should have. Oh, we have to go first this time? Well, good. I wasn't sure I'd survive another karate chop. I mean, he took off 30 elves the first time, but moves are never super consistent. There's a bit of uh, room for variables there. Ugh. 
So that could have been really bad, because I really don't think Hitmontop could have taken that thing. <sighs> Honestly, it would have been better probably powering up Abachai to take on that gym. But that would require leveling up Abachai to the next level. Which I'll probably work on later. I'll have to find somewhere where there's a lot of normal types or something I can just kick into submission. Probably have to go hunt down some Stantlers. Of course, that's easier said than done, usually. Because Stantler doesn't like to appear. <sighs> it's not as rare as some, but it's not super common either. Well, let's shove the rocks out of the way and get to work. Well, Chuck, it's time for you to take me on. Yeah, yeah, I don't care how tough you are. I can also shatter stones with my Pokemon. Oh. That has nothing to do with Pokemon battles, though. Let us see who the true Kung Fu Master is. My money is on me, but we'll see. I might be writing a bigger check than I can cash here. Level 27, huh? Well, assuming I get a hit off, I'll go with um, Crychop. Ah, good. I would use Low Kick, I suppose, for some flinches, but we'd have to be faster than Primate to make that work. And we aren't. But I have to love how his Fury Swipes keep missing. He's like, use the Fury Swipes! It's like, can we just go to Crychops? They're more accurate, you know? And it's my specialty. Well, he's gonna get off a Fury Swipe finally. It took him, you know, three tries, but he deserves it, you know? He's like, I got Fury Swipes off. Then he kicked my face in. Damn, I screwed this up. Oh. Finally about ready to evolve. Is it 26 or 28 with Machop? Oh, whatever. If we reached it, we reached it. If we didn't, I'll be closer to it at least. Oh, I'm cry shop. Ah. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, it is a polyrath. And it's four levels above us. I might wish I brought some revives. Well, cry shop time. Come on, crit. Well, still hoping. Come on, critical hit, please. Ah, not as much damage as I was hoping for. Ah, oh, shoot. Switch out. Apachai, get out there. I need you to buy some time. Whew. A swing and a miss. Okay. Wake up, Bruce. Ow! Ugh! That was brutal! Well, get back out there, Bruce! Um, sling some mud in his face! Fight dirty! That way we can't put me put to sleep again, hopefully. And we can make those dynamic punches even more inaccurate. Take that, you cannot dynamic punch me! <laughs> Way too late for that now. Time for a final karate chop! And Bruce wins, yep. Good work, Bruce. It took down Polyrath. I mean, sure, we had to sacrifice Apachai along the way, but... Hey, sometimes sacrifices have to be made for even greater victory. Plus, this way we can fly back now, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that's cool and all. Ooh, TM01, Dynamic Punch. Problem is, I was thinking about giving this to Hitmonlee, but then I'd have to take Mind Reader and give up either Meditate or one of my other moves. And I don't really like those options, um... And I don't want to have another Hitmonlee on the team, either, because, you know, I'd end up building it mostly the same, only it'd be basically focused on dynamic punching people, and that'd be about it. Which would probably not be the 
best of plans. I mean, it's a decent plan, I suppose, but... I mean, I'd only have really one attack move on this uh, Pokemon. Because I'd have to set meditates and, you know, mind readers so I then punch people in the face. And then confuse them. Whatever you say, lady. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll um, help out Anthe and probably take on Jasmine. Till then, see ya.